Hello, friends and family of St. Peter's Church. Today, on February 2nd, we've been observing the holy day of the presentation of our Lord Jesus Christ in the temple. On this day, we remember the story from Luke's Gospel, in which Mary and Joseph, 40 days after the birth of Jesus, bring their infant son for formal presentation in the temple. And there, a wise and righteous man, Simeon, who's been told by the Holy Spirit that he will not die until he has seen the Savior, recognizes Jesus Christ as the light of the world, as does the prophet Anna. She, too, has been waiting to see the promise of this salvation. Because on this day, we recognize the light of the world coming into our midst, another tradition developed to bless all the candles that were to be used in church for the year, and indeed to bless candles used in people's homes. The day has come to be known as Candlemas as well. So if you have a candle or some candles in your home tonight, you might want to light them and over them give a prayer of thanksgiving to God for the light of the world who has come to bless the whole of the world. In England, there was another tradition that developed around Candlemas. Since indeed it was 40 days after Christmas, it really marked the final end of the Christmas season or the Christmas celebrations. Some people leave their creches, their manger sets up until February 2nd, and then finally put them away. Another tradition was to take down the last remnants of greens that might still be hanging over a mantelpiece or over a doorway, which had grown old and dry. So the holly, the rosemary and bay, the mistletoe even come down, but to be replaced by fresh boxwood leaves. So I'll be removing the last holly from our house, and I'm afraid I don't have fresh boxwood to put up on this snowy day. But um, I do have a song to sing about this tradition. It's called the Candlemas Carol. And it talks not only about removing the holly and replacing it with boxwood, but then as the seasons continue to unfold and the boxwood grows old, to be replaced with yew leaves and then with birch branches and many flowers to eventually celebrate Easter and even on to Pentecost and Whitsuntide. The English poet Robert Herrick wrote these words centuries ago, um, and I'm going to sing them for you now to help us celebrate this day. So I'm going to put on my little button accordion, and I'll play the tune, and then I'll sing you the Candlemas Carol. Here we go. Instead of holly, now upraise the greener box for show. The holly hither rude its sway, let box now domineer until the dancing Easter day or Easter's Eve appear. Then, youthful box, which now hath grace your houses to renew, grown old surrender must his place unto the crisped you. When you is out, then birch comes in, and many flowers beside, both of a fresh and fragrant kin to honor Whitsuntide. Green rushes then, and sweetest bents with cooler oaken boughs, come in for comely ornaments to re-adorn the house. Thus times do shift, thus times do shift, each thing his turn to hold. New things succeed, new things succeed, as former things grow old. <laughs> Happy Candlemas Day.